This is Jasur, and uh, today I'm with my friend Rishi. Hey guys, hello. So, uh, he's giving me a tour uh, of the city, because as all of you know that uh, I live in uh, 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 a little bit far from uh, downtown area. So I came to this city, and uh, we're enjoying nice weather today. And we're exactly in the center of the city. So Rishi will take me to some interesting places, and we'll do some vlogging. Perfect. So, so where shall we start from? So join <laughs> us while I show and you and Jasur and all, everybody, all the channel, everybody on the channel, just to show what this beautiful city has to offer. So we'll be all starting right. off with, if you can uh, show sure. the camera towards here. So we'll do a full round circle of this particular square uh, circle. Mm -hmm. This area itself is the downtown New Jersey area, the financial district. So I'll just give a quick tour to just sort about the financial district and cool, just, and the cool. big mall, which is IFC Mall, right yeah. behind us. And then after that, we'll go to Taco Bell right behind us and we'll grab some lunch. And uh, from there, we'll move to other places. So I have uh, quite a intense itinerary planned for Jesu today. So join us and hopefully you enjoy Sounds this video. Great. And by the way, I, I forgot to change the lenses to wide angle. So I'm going to change it now so you guys can enjoy them you know, more. Uh, beautiful scenery. All right. All right, let's go. So, what's what's the bridge called? What's the name of this bridge? I'm not exactly <laughs> sure of the bridge in Chinese or what's the bridge called. Yeah. All I know is that one area connects it to the mall. Okay. One connects it to the metro station. All right. And the other one connects to the Oriental Pearl Tower. Uh, let me ask you while yes. we go, like, what's the metro station here? What is Luja's it called? Lujazwe. Lujazwe metro Luja's station. station. All right. So if you guys come here, okay. you need to uh, line to Lujazwe. Yeah, line to. You need to find that line, and then the stop name is uh, station name is Lujazwe. Okay. If you want to access the bond, all right. Which, if we got time, we'll show you today. Okay. It's East Nanjing Road. All right. But East Nanjing Road. Yeah, for access okay. to the bond, view for the bond. But if you want to come to Lu Jazwe, this is where the financial district is. Okay. This is the number one finance right. center of China. Right. So, uh, do you do you live close by here? Yeah, about 20 minutes from here, not okay. so far. Is it expensive to live here? Oh, Lu Jazwe. In this in uh, this area. Oh, very expensive. For a room, you'd be expecting to pay at least a thousand dollars a month. Thousand dollars a month. Just for a room. Just for a room. Okay. A room. So what yeah, if yeah. what if I want to rent an apartment, like two bedroom apartment? Oh, two bedroom apartment. Forget it. <laughs> you're, talking what? About, you're talking about at least twenty-five thousand <laughs> RMBs. All right. Is it about so does it, Okay. Yeah. Does it come furnished? So sometimes they do come furnished. Sometimes they don't. All right. But people who live in Lujazwe are like super super rich people, high net worth individuals. They own the apartments. All Not right. many people rent here. Oh, okay. The only people who rent here are expats. How about okay. Yeah, expats, foreigners. Right, right. Who come here for like a couple of years and it's their work. All right. Uh, and mostly companies company. pay, exactly. right? Company, it's yeah. their work. So a company is paying for the apartment. Okay. But as per the Chinese law, right, you can only get a thirty percent right uh, housing allowance on your salary. Okay. So if your salary is hundred thousand RMB a month, mm. you can only you get, get thirty thousand. So what they do is they pay that much, uh -huh. and whatever is the excess, they just top it up themselves. Okay. So do the employees find the apartments themselves, or uh, uh, does the company help? Company helps them to find the apartment. Okay. Uh, but yeah, once the company has found the apartment, they manage the apartments themselves. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, by the way, Rishi yeah. here, he deals with. Uh, uh, he's he's got a, a company that uh, uh, he does business uh, selling apartments, right? Yes. Off-market apartments. Off-market so. apartments in London, but I'm so, expanding yeah. my market at the moment. All right. So I want to expand into the Chinese market and I'm also expanding into Ireland. Okay. So I was raised in Ireland. I'm also getting right. properties from there. Right. Once I have secured Exactly. Uh, plenty so of locations, global properties. Right. I want to expand. So, if anybody Asia is interested market. in relocating, they can contact or investing in properties, right? Exactly. They can contact you. So, I'm going to leave his contact details somewhere in the video. Uh, please do check his uh, uh, website, a company, and uh, or get in touch. 
All right, this area. There we go. Okay. So you buy the tickets for the Oriental Pearl Tower here, and then you walk along to these stairs right. to go up to the tower, access the lift. Okay. The queue inside for Is this it tower too long? <laughs> could be anywhere between two to four hours, depending on the season and the time. Can you buy it online? You can buy it online, but you still have to queue. <laughs> Why? It, <laughs> if it, I buy it online? It oh, you have to get the actual ticket. Exactly, you have All to get the physical right. ticket. It's same as uh, the London Eye in London. Oh, okay. So no matter if you have the ticket, you still have to queue. And there right. are two queues. There's an express queue, okay. which is like one hour. <laughs> and then right. there's the normal queue, which is like... Two. I guess this is because of security, right? They let a certain number of exactly. people up. Exactly. Yeah. Because if you see at the top, yeah. the second one, so, there's yeah. a glass bottom bridge. All right. I don't know if you can see it from yeah, the camera. Yeah, they can see, I think. So the glass bottom bridge, and then you can actually... It's, it's a glass bridge, so you can actually walk in it and see the city. Okay. Below you. Cool. Hence, for security purposes, they only allow a certain amount of people at one particular time. Right. Thank you for this introduction. Well, guys, as you know, I've been living in China since 2012, but I haven't been <laughs> inside this building because I don't know, mostly because probably I consider China home <laughs> right now. So, yeah. All right. Oops. So yeah, when you back to the topic, when you live in a country, yes. yeah, like a home, it's it's it becomes your home, right? Yeah, sure. And you don't act like a tourist. <laughs> so I, I, yeah. I acted like a tourist when I was here in Shanghai. When yeah, I moved to Shanghai from right. London. Right, right. Within the first couple of weeks, I acted like a tourist. Right, got everything ticked off. Right, right. I was right. very crazy, just like any other tourist. I'm like, what's oh, this? Oh man, I should I should curious. do that. I should do that. I didn't have that moment in my so life. I, 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 I moved to Shanghai, never acted and like a tourist. Now for me, I'm a resident. So I only come here if I want to bring somebody. Like right. Friends are visiting, or right. my Chinese friends who don't live in Shanghai but are from other right. parts of the country. Right. So I just bring them along and cool. I show them the place. Cool. So we're approaching what Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Taco Bell okay. is downstairs. All right. They just want to grab the elevator and go down. Okay. Cool. Get some food. Yeah. Let's eat something. All right. So, okay guys, we're going downstairs now uh, and we'll see you after the lunch, right?
Guys, so now Alex has decided, Jasur has decided his yeah. fabric and his colors. What? For navy blue and gray. So I've decided to buy two uh, suits, like two piece suits. Uh -huh. And uh, both come with the, the trousers and the suits. So I don't, I'm not a fan of vests, so I'm not going to yeah. buy vests. So now it'll be the procedure of Alex being, Jasur being measured. And as you can see behind us is the tailor, oh, and now he will be <laughs> this is the tailor. tailor. This is Best the tailor. tailor in Shanghai. Best tailor in Shanghai. <laughs> and by the way, the store number is K2. K3. Okay. K3. K3 27. K327. Okay. Right. Hope you note down this number. Come here. Just mention mine and Jasur's name, and you will get a good discount because Lily is the best. All right. Ready for your? Oh uh, yeah. So ready. Ready. So let's Measurements. Measurements. You like a fitting size or a little no, bit loose? No, because a little bit loose. Okay, yeah. not the too tight. Also not the yeah, too, not too tight. Also yeah. not the too loose. Yes, yes. yeah. Just, uh, you know, uh, no more. perfect no. balance. Okay. No more, yeah. Perfect balance, normal suit. Yes. For Jasur here and now his shoulders are being measured. I will lose weight. <laughs> okay, lose weight. Yeah, I don't want to, you know. If you lose weight, this uh, suit, it, right? yes, I can fix it for okay, you. Cool. So guys, this is another thing. Yeah, better to may, uh, make your uh, suits tailor-made, right? best folks, so you can fix them. Like you see, Lily can do anything. I just message her, Lily, can I come to you now? And I want this done. She's like, yeah, okay, sure, cool. come along whenever you want. Because I have a lot of suits that I bought from the stores. I don't know, you know, She's some of them are small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, do, they don't fit properly. Yeah, they because they're... they're Standardized size there for everybody. Yeah. So if you see the tailor is measuring and Lily here is writing down the measurements, and his Alex uh, Jester's suit will be made according to his specific measurements. Yeah. They're all in Chinese, but it's okay. They know what they're Sandy. talking about. Yeah. By the way, Rishi keeps mentioning two names. So <laughs> you guys can go ahead and call me Alex or just no matter. It's okay. For English purposes, to make it easier. I have this English name, Alex. I already mentioned this in my video. No oh. problem, yeah. uh, for some people, it's really Sorry, hard to pronounce Jasur, my original name. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so used to calling him Alex. Yeah, but yeah, yeah Jasur, Jasur is... So in China, by the way, everybody, most of the Chinese people, they have their English name and then their Chinese, Chinese name. name. So when they communicate with foreign friends, they give uh, their English no, name. Okay, so I followed that advice. Lily, what's my name? Sorry, I forgot. It's okay. Do you know who I am? Hmm? Do you know Do you know who I am? Of course. Who am I? You are? My friend. Yes. Not See, the client. Name, friend. name is not important. What yeah. Shakespeare himself said, Sorry. what's there in a the name? Uh -huh. But what's important is 
Okay. Avoid all the other tailors, guys. Trust me, yeah, they yeah. will not give you the service that you need. They'll rip you off. Whereas Lily here will give you the best service. And now Alex's ties are being measured. Mm -hmm. And guys, um, I used to be slim. <laughs> don't eat too much. Hard to believe. Yeah, don't go to McDonald's ever. Yeah. Sorry, no offense to McDonald's, but no. I guess you know what happens is uh, stopped, just sir. Sure, no, yeah, I no. Stopped working out. I used when to you, work out. When you get married and have kids, oh, yeah, priorities that's, change. That's another thing. Yes. I just uh, got busy with work too much and uh, forgot to work out. But recently I bought this heavy bag, punching bag, so I'm working out every day. Right, so I'm going to take a break uh, while Alex's measurements are being conducted and then we'll just continue afterwards. Right. Well, one second. Now Alex is deciding what kind of style he wants for the name. So he's going to get his name printed yeah, on the suit jacket. Why not? When you get your suit tailor made, why not? He's good. Yeah. He's, he's so narcissistic. <laughs> he wants his name on his own suit. Of course. Wow, man. Seriously. I don't understand people. You know, I bring friends here all the time. I brought my very good friend Josh here last time. He spent an hour getting a suit made. Whereas I come in, I'm like, Lily, I want a suit. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, bye, bye. Whereas look at these people today. <laughs> so long. Alex, quite the end. <laughs> the sewer is now deciding which color yeah, to get for yeah, his yeah. shirts. He's decided on his two colors for the shirt. Shall I go got mafia. Mafia. They have that links. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> color links. <laughs> Bankers in London also have yeah, this kind of a color, true. so uh, it's not necessarily just mafia. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's like uh, you know, uh, 70s, 60s style, kind of. Yeah, yeah. All right, now that one I like the pink. Yeah, the one I think. Uh, this one. He has decided, and the <laughs> color is. This one. And uh, one more question. Your yeah. shorts, do you want to initial your name? Yes, I want to have initials. Uh, it's uh, for here, for calf yeah. here. Yes. yes okay, yeah. so calf, we make the same style or you want a different style? No, the same style, uh -huh. same style okay. is all right. Yeah. And it's going to be calf links, not the button, right? Or do you, oh. you want a button or calf link? I want actually button. Yes, yeah. button is Button easy. is more practical. Yes. So no, I mean really, for events, you can wear cufflinks with button, button. Yeah, button both of okay. them button. So name also is like this? It's the same? Yes, same, same, same name. Same name. Guys, yeah, some, some people prefer uh, cufflinks. I have a few cufflinks, but uh, for practicality reasons, so I prefer So for buttons. this, when you, come, when you yeah. want to pick up, four uh, day or five day? Uh, any difference? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, one week, okay? Yeah, it's alright, one week. Because uh, the... Labor holiday. Yeah, holiday, yeah. right. Sure, sure, sure. Guys, there's no, a I labor holiday. It's okay, but one week is fine. Labor holiday coming along. So there will be... All the shops will be closed. So People travel to their hometowns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence... So, uh, so two suits and uh, two shorts. Right. No, do you want more? Another things? No, that's all. Oh, okay, that's, that's all. all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the shopping completed finally. Right, so we're going to get to the more important, most important part, negotiation. Negotiation of the price. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'll have to turn off the camera for this. Uh, that's between so me and Lily. Better. Yeah, but you guys will get a discount <laughs> if you mention my time. name. <laughs> this is business time. So Alex has finally right, decided so he has go. paid. Uh, we decided uh, two suits. We shake hands. I paid. So it's going to take seven days, right? Yes. To pick up. All right, great. So if you want suit, uh, tailor-made, bespoke uh, suit or coat, shirt, anything you want, come to Lily's store. Right. Cheers. Bye-bye. Uh, Zajin. <laughs> this is the number for the store. K327. Come here. All right, bye-bye, Lily. Okay. So now that the suit is made, Alex, are you enjoying your tour of Shanghai today? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, this is my first try with the tailor-made suits in Shanghai. Uh, and so far the experience is great. Uh -huh. And uh, she, she said that after seven days we can pick up. I ordered and in the two. pocket yeah. is the receipt. It's, it's, yeah, there's a receipt here. So uh, you don't lose that when you pick up. And uh, we made it like a really 100% tailor-made because I put my initials. Uh, on the suits and plus uh, in the what sleeves <laughs> on the sleeves of the shirts. 
so I'm kind of excited. Yeah. We'll just walk you through the the markets. If you come here, uh, you have a restaurant called Less Is More, and just right beside Less Is More, you'll see a sign for the toilet and an exit sign. Just follow that, and if you keep following ahead, you'll see Tailor Made. So that's where the fabric market is, and Lily Store is K327. Just walk along. Uh, so go straight, second right, and the second store on the left. And that's where Lily's store is. And here we are. That's the market. If you just follow along the route where we were for the glasses market, uh, you'll see for the fabric market, you'll just come along beside the pearl market. And beside the pearl market is the glasses zone. So I'll show you the sign. There's an orange banner at the top. And on the right, you'll see glasses zone. And glasses optical zone, shops. optical shops. So along here, we'll walk in. You'll see a big sign for pink glasses. Walk in. And Laura Optical is the name of my glasses lady. So we'll walk in and have a chat with Laura and see what she says for uh, Jasur today. Hopefully he'll get a good deal. Here we are with Laura and then she just told me that she's pregnant. So I just congratulated her. Happy for her and Jasur is now looking for his glasses. If you look around, she's got tons of variety for glasses. Ladies, ski glasses, uh, gents, men's, kids, whatever, sunglasses. Uh, so here we have whatever the, all the products that she has on offer. Polarized, prescription, progressive, blah, 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 reading glasses, and all the brands. So here are the Tom Ford glasses. Tom Ford. Uh, these are Porsche design. On the top we have Oliver. Porsche, Porsche design, more Porsche design, more Porsche design, uh, more Tom Ford, Tom Ford, Tom Ford, uh, Porsche design, and she has some Oakley at the top here. She's got she has this, this kind of uh, these kind of yeah special glasses for old people. Don't really like them. Let's see. Oh, it looks weird. What the hell? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, she's got different styles. She's got tons of styles. And she's also got a machine so she can check your eyes if you want way, and I make really a prescription. Like this as well. uh, right, so Alex is trying out frameless glasses. Yeah. Man, you look so yeah. sexy in them. I like them because they're so light, you know. Right, Alex, you decide on the glasses. I'll just sure. go have a quick tour of the sure. optical market around here. So Alex is going to decide on the glasses he wants. There's a coffee shop there. And if you want to have a coffee, this is all the market here. You just go for a quick walk along the market. Chinese tea shop. More optical shops. They have different optical. Chen Optical. This is where they make the glasses. Everybody gets their glasses made from here. So you go to the shop and then they all come down here. More and more shops. Sir is deciding. Mafia! He's deciding which frame and which style to go for. So he's decided one for glasses, one for eyeglasses, and one he's deciding now one for sunglasses. Yeah, take them off, bro. Black one? Oh. Mm, black one, more suitable for you. The the green, yeah. This is the one. Or should I be wearing them always with black shirt? Black shirt, black suit, men in black, men in black. How they call them in uh, that Wall Street uh, guy wears? I forgot. Ooh, no idea what you're talking about. 
But this one is already like this. For sure. Alright, I'm gonna go grab myself a toffee while Jasur decides. So what about this style? Yeah, this is a nice This is a nice